Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. Huh. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Alrighty. On to do that, Dan. Give me this. My man's just struggling over there. I don't think sugar's good for a heart attack. I don't, I don't know. Let's give it to Duck. We just need to get back. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. She's a sweet lady. Right, let's see what else there is, if there is anything. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> what are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm, nothing. So, it needs batteries. There's Duh. No batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. She's Heard only a reporter, so she wouldn't know that Nothing, type of thing. Luckily. It's okay. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. Let's look around and what's out we'll there. keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. There's so much blood on my clothes, it's not even funny. Jesus. Larry, Bonnie, Denny, Grant, Grady, Mandy, Billy, Sam, Kate, John, uh, and a few others that I can't remember their names for some reason. I grew up with them. Douglas is one of them. Furniture is another. And whatever's left comes back. Sale or a sale, Sally. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Alrighty. Oh, can we use a remote? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all Pretty the Pretty smart, bro. TV. Let's try. Bet. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Hmm. Okay. No, I don't need to do any of that. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him. Dang, is he's not even telling him that that's his family, yeah, bro. I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. A whole freaking long, right? pole fell on his legs, bro. Just Gracious, he just probably just got eaten. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. There. And we can throw. Ah, I'm so big brain. Uh, how'd you end up here? We should search the. We should that guy over there. About searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here? Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. 
Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't I get, get that. That's fine. Onto the street. That's okay. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. I'm just gonna bust awesome. that down. Just gonna bust it open. Extract those things carefully. Okay, can't really do much else with that. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. Not a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Ish. I can't reach that brick. Reach the freaking brick. Reach the brick. I, can't reach that brick. I guess we push the door open some. That's not scary at all. Now throw the brick. Throw the brick. Come on, Lee. Quarterback. Let's go. Perfect. 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 We were to this black guy over here. Oh, let's go. Oh, they make everything so cinematic. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Got his face eaten off, bro. What the frick is he screaming for? Chill out, bro. I'm about to slap him. I shouldn't have left you. I'm sorry I wasn't here. Come on, be sorry, sentimental. Be sentimental. Come on now. But knowing you are to take care of that helps. Alright, come on, Lee. This is taking a lot of time. Come on. <laughs> You're kind of freaking me out, brother. I'm logging him. He's still alive. What would you expect, Lee? Why are you screaming? Hit him in the freaking noggin! Why is he screaming? Please. Thank you. My goodness, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Let's go. Ugh. I've got the keys. Oh, that's great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. But took you off. Yeah. Not the freaking. <laughs> we have the keys now, Lee. What are you doing? Hurry. Oh my gosh. Learn with a screwdriver in the back. Come on now. <laughs> the screwdriver can come in handy. Great. 
gracious, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Let's get it. Let's go! Alright, Clem. Make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. I, are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Alrighty. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real. Come on, Clem. Okay. Come on. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I found something. I'm saving her. She's a good shot. He only knows how to program remotes. That's on a hunt. Easy, easy decision in my life. Doug. You got Doug. They, ah! They, they me. Ah! 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 Bat, let's get it. Easy. Oh, he's he's gonna get it. I literally got meds for you not to die, brother. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. You wait till I get my chance to put a hole in you. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be on. Oh my goodness, I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Oh my goodness gracious. Calm. It's all right. Oh, that's that lady that shot herself in the head. The attention to detail in this game is actually insane. I didn't think that shit they would actually, you know, she would be in the. I didn't think that she would be in the, uh, in the pile of bodies there. That's scary as frick, dude. Alrighty. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Wow. And that's what goes into the, the Rick Grimes Walking Dead story.
That's actually crazy. That's a cool detail. Because this is like actual Glenn from the TV show, and... Uh... I don't know. Frick. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Yeah, I was right. Fricked that. Anyway, see you around. See you, dog. Deuces! That's kind of cool. He's leaving to go into Atlanta, which is where uh, Rick and Carl and Lauren and uh, Shane and all them are in this actual show, which is actually kind of cool because they find Lee there, or Rick finds Lee, or Lee finds Rick, actually. You know, whenever he's like climbing to the hey, tank kid. and like shoots a freaking revolver inside of a tank Thanks to give himself a concussion. Care. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. He's a friend, but I won't be afraid to tell him what's up. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to Carly or Sarah. Sarah, Carly, I don't know. How you doing, Carly? Carly. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. Mm -mm. It happened pretty fast. Mm -hmm. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. You'll be alright. I'm sorry, Carly. I'm sure he liked you, too. You'll be alright. Yeah. Definitely. You'll be alright. Anyway, Stop with all this sappy I'd stuff. I'd rather Get be alone, here. I think. I understand. Wait. Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help both of you. I thought you needed the help. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Don't pick sides me there. Too, Carly. Alrighty. Duck! Super dinosaur was back. toast. But you know We're gonna what? kill him. He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, duck. Uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? I'm okay, saying, bro. Sorry. Get the frick out of her face. Obviously, it's just I'm a sorry, monologue. Sorry. It's not a dialogue. Get out of here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, Damn. come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Yeah, let's go deal with this real oh, quick. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Duck, bro, please. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine, not really. Yeah, she's great. Her dad tried to kill me. Yep. Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. I'm gonna... And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? All I need is 30. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Duh. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Yep, yep, yep. 
I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Mm -hmm. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I had to say something. I had to say something. To be continued next time on The Walking Dead. Hey, we don't fortify this job. if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? Really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. Mm. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. Mm, these are kind of like spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers. <sighs> walkers don't worry as much as the fans. Alrighty, I guess we look at our things from the past three episodes. Honesty, you lied to Herschel. You and forty-six percent of the players lied. Who would you save, Duck or Sean? You and forty-seven percent chose Sean. <laughs> Side with Kenny, fifty-four percent defended Kenny. Mercy, I okay. Forty-seven players said give her the gun. Who would you save, Doug or Carly? You and forty-eight percent of the players chose Carly. Why? What? What the frick, dude? Why would you try to choose Carly instead of Doug? All Doug has is programming skills. Well, he may have wiring skills as well. 